I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will learn how to find area of a sector when arc length is given to us. So consider this figure here, we have a circle with radius of 16 meters and arc length of 14 meters. You need to find area of the shaded portion which is called a sector. Now first find area of the full circle. So we say area of full circle is equals to the formula is pi r square as you know. Approximately we can take 3.14 as value of pi. Radius in this case is 16, 16 square. Now using calculator we can get the value 3.14 times 16 square is equals to 803.84. So we get 803.84 units are meter square. Now area of the sector is a ratio of the circumference, right? We know full circumference we can find knowing the radius to the given arc length, right? So that is a good method to use here. So let us find circumference. So what is circumference? Circumference formula is 2 pi r. Uh, 2 pi and radius is given to us as 16. So 2 pi r is the formula. So let us use the values 3.14 for pi radius is 16 and let's calculate this value. So it is equals to 2 times 3.14 times 16 equals to 100.48. Now as you can compare this arc length is 14 right so it is a ratio the area of this sector will be ratio of 14 over 100.48 for the whole area right so now we can find area of sector as so area of sector will be equal to total area 803.84 times the arc length given to us which is 40 divided by circumference which is 100.48 right so that gives us let us calculate the value we have 803.84 times 14 divided by 100.48 so we get 112 so in this case we get 112 uh, meter square as area of the sector so remember whenever you are given the arc length in that case uh, area of sector should be equal to so let's write on a formula area of sector equals to area of circle right times, times let me write here, arc length A divided by circumference. Correct? So that ratio will give you area of the sector. So you don't really have to find the angle between, right? So you could do that. That is, you can use A equals to R theta. Or theta is the ratio of uh, arc length over radius find the angle and then use pi r square angle and 2 pi but you could directly also get by ratio of arc length and circumference i hope this method helps you to do it faster thank you and all the best